Another type of conic section we shall talk about is ellipse with center at the origin. Ellipse is the curve which results from slicing a double napped cone by a plane which is parallel to no generator of the cone. It is a set of all points in a plane such that the sum of its distances from two fixed points is constant. The two fixed points are called the foci, plural of focus, and the line through the foci is the principal axis or focal axis. Vertices are points where the ellipse crosses its focal axis. It is also the endpoints of the major axis. Major axis is the line segment joining the two vertices. And the midpoint of the major axis is the center. While the segment perpendicular to the principal axis at the center is called the minor axis. And the endpoints of the minor axis are called co-vertices. And these are the directrices of an ellipse. Remember that eccentricity is the amount of roundness of the curve. The eccentricity of an ellipse is E equals C over A, or the square root of A squared minus B squared over A. Take note that the eccentricity of a circle is 0 and the eccentricity of parabola is 1 while the eccentricity of ellipse is between 0 and 1. The eccentricity is a measure of the ovalness of an ellipse. A small eccentricity indicates that the ellipse tends toward being circular. An eccentricity close to 1 indicates that the ellipse is elongated. We will consider two cases in obtaining the standard form of the equation of the ellipse with center at the origin. An ellipse whose major axis is the x-axis, and an ellipse whose major axis is the y-axis. This is the graph of an ellipse whose major axis is on the x-axis. These are the foci, the vertices, the co-vertices, and the directrices of an ellipse whose major axis is the x-axis. While this is the graph of an ellipse whose major axis is the y-axis. These are the foci, the vertices, the co-vertices, and the directrices of an ellipse whose major axis is the y-axis. The equation of an ellipse with major axis on the x-axis is x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared equals 1, where c is equal to the square root of a squared minus b squared, and a should be greater than b. a represents the vertices, b the co-vertices, and c the foci. While the equation is x squared over b squared plus y squared over a squared equals 1 if the major axis is on the y-axis. We can tell just by looking at the equation if the major axis is on the x-axis or y-axis. Remember that a is greater than b. If the denominator of x squared term is greater than the denominator of y squared term, that means the major axis is on the x-axis. And this is the graph of the equation. But if the denominator is greater in y squared term, the major axis is on the y axis. And this is the graph of that equation. The vertices are plus and minus a, 0, which are also the endpoints of the major axis located on the x axis. And the vertices are 0 plus and minus a if the major axis is the y axis. On the other hand, the co-vertices are 0 plus and minus b, which are also the endpoints of the minor axis. But if the major axis is on the y-axis, the co-vertices are plus and minus b, 0. As you can observe, if the major axis is on the x-axis, sa vertices, nauuna ang a bago 0. At pagdating kay co-vertices, nauuna naman ang 0 bago ang value ng b which can also be found from the given equation. Dito, pag ang major axis ay nasa y-axis, nauuna ang 0 sa vertices, bago ang a. Kaya sa co-vertices, nauuna naman ang b, bago 0. So these are opposites. 
If the major axis is on the x-axis, the vertices are also on the x-axis, while the co-vertices are on the y-axis. But if the major axis is on the y-axis, the vertices are also on the y-axis, while the co-vertices are on the x-axis. The foci are plus and minus C0 if the major axis is the x-axis. And the foci are 0 plus and minus C if the major axis is the y-axis. Kung nauuna ang value ng A sa vertices, ganun din sa foci, nauuna ang value ng C. At kung 0 A ang vertices, 0 C naman ang foci. Kung nasa ng vertices, nandun ang foci. Kung nasa x-axis ang vertices, nasa x-axis din ang foci. At kung nasa y-axis, the foci are also on the y-axis. The co-vertices, opposite. Kung nasa x-axis ito, nasa y-axis naman ito. At kung nasa y-axis ito, ito ay sa x-axis. Okay? The directrices are plus and minus a squared over c mapa major axis on the x or y axis. The only difference is that the equation is x if the major axis is the x axis and the equation is y if the major axis is the y axis. And the length of latus rectum is 2b squared over a. But the endpoints are negative c plus and minus b squared over a and positive c plus and minus b squared over a if the major axis is on the x-axis. While the endpoints are plus and minus b squared over a, negative c, and plus and minus b squared over a, positive c, if the major axis is on the y-axis. Take note that the length of major axis is 2a, while the length of the minor axis is 2b, and the foci, 2c. Also note that the focal axis, or the major axis, or the principal axis, always contains the foci, the vertices, and the center. Let us have now an examples. For the given ellipse, find the center, principal axis, vertices, co-vertices, foci, length of the major and minor axis, eccentricity, equations of directrices, and the length of latus rectum. Number 1, the equation is x squared over 36 plus y squared over 4 equals 1. The center is at the origin. For letter B, since A is greater in x, the denominator of the x squared term is greater than the denominator of the y squared term, Therefore, the principal axis or focal axis is the x-axis. The vertices are plus and minus a, 0, since the focal axis or principal axis is on the x-axis. At ito naman ang co-vertices, foci, directrices, and length of latus rectum. But first, we need to find the value of a. In the equation, a squared is equal to 36 and b squared is equal to 4. Kung ano ang bigger value, yun ang ating a squared. If a squared is equal to 36, a is equal to 6. Square root of 36 is 6. While b is equal to 2. Square root of 4 is 2. Therefore, the vertices are plus and minus 6, 0, which are positive 6, 0, and negative 6, 0. The co-vertices are 0 plus and minus b or 0 plus and minus 2, which are 0, positive 2, and 0, negative 2. Next, to determine the foci, we need to solve for c, which is equal to the square root of a squared minus b squared. a squared is equal to 36 and b squared is equal to 4. Square root of 36 minus 4 is equal to the square root of 32 or 4 square root of 2. We factor 32, 16 times 2. And square root of 16 is 4 times we copy the square root of 2. Therefore, C is equal to 4 square root of 2 which is approximately equal to 5.66. So the foci are plus and minus c, 0, or 
plus and minus 4 square root of 2, 0, which are positive 4 square root of 2, 0, and negative 4 square root of 2, 0. Next, determine the length of the major and minor axis. The length of the major axis is 2a, where a is equal to 6. So 2 times 6 is 12. And this is now the length of the major axis. Well, the length of the minor axis is 2b, where b is equal to 2. And 2 times 2 is 4, which is the length of the minor axis. The eccentricity is equal to c over a, where c is equal to 4 square root of 2, and a is equal to 6. 4 over 6 can still be simplified, so the eccentricity is equal to 2 square root of 2 over 3. Divide this value on the denominator by 2. 4 divided 2 is 2, cap is square root of 2, and 6 divided 2 is 3. And this is approximately equal to 0 0.94. Remember that an eccentricity close to 1 indicates that the ellipse is elongated. The equations of directrices are x plus and minus a squared over c. a squared is 36, while c is equal to 4 squared root of 2. Rationalize the denominator by multiplying the top and the bottom by square root of 2. So this is equal to plus and minus 36 times square root of 2 is 36 square root of 2 over 4 square root of 2 times square root of 2 is 8. Square root of 2 times square root of 2 is the square root of 4. And square root of 4 is 2. So 4 times 2 is equal to 8. 36 over 8 can still be reduced in its lowest form. That is why the directrices are x equals plus and minus 9 square root of 2 over 2. 36 divided by 4 is 9, and 8 divided by 4 is 2. And this is equal to 6.36 in decimal. While the length of the lattice rectum is 2b squared over a, where b squared is equal to 4, and a is equal to 6. 2 times 4 is 8, and copy the denominator 6. 8 over 6 is equal to 4 over 3. To sketch the graph, Plot the center, which is at the origin, then the vertices 6, 0, and negative 6, 0, while the co-vertices, which are located at 0, 2, and 0, negative 2. Connect these points, and we now have the graph of an ellipse with foci at 4 square root of 2, 0, and negative 4 square root of 2, 0. Take note that 4 square root of 2 is equal to 5.66. The length of the major axis is equal to 12. That means the distance from the center to one of the endpoints of vertices is 6 units. So from the center, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 units right, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 units left a total of 12 units. The vertices are also the endpoints of the major axis. Well, the length of the minor axis is equal to 4, 2 units up and 2 units down from the center. The co-vertices are also the endpoints of the minor axis. The directrices are x equals positive 6.36 and negative 6.36. And these are the lattice rectum with a length of 4 thirds or 1.33. And this is the graph of the equation x squared over 36 plus y squared over 4 equals 1.